A new member has joined the League of World of Tanks nations. Swedish vehicles will soon join the game. Their specifications haven't been finalized yet, so we still don't know the precise armor thickness or speed. But the most important thing is already clear – their character. Let's take a look at them. The Swedish tech tree starts with a tank that has a rich history – the STRV FM-21. Designed by German engineer Falma, the tank was disguised as tractor parts when delivered to Sweden. In other words, it's all about intrigue and mystery. If you want to find out more, watch a special video about it. In our game, the STRV FM-21 is a classic Tier 1 light tank. The only peculiar thing about it is its size. Large dimensions are compensated for by its hit points. But there's no need to go into detail, as you won't play the tank for very long. The first vehicle is followed by the STRV M38 and STRV M40L. These are decent tanks for their tier, without any visible drawbacks or outstanding strengths good, sturdy combat vehicles. And they already reveal some features of Swedish tanks – light armor, small dimensions, and excellent elevation and depression angles. The Tier 4 Lago tank is in line with this – a versatile vehicle, good for any task. A nice improvement is its slightly better dynamics as compared to its predecessors. At Tier 5, the speed of research in the game slows down and players have time to feel what their tank is like. There are many interesting vehicles of different nations at this tier. Some are preserved in the garage forever. The Swedish STRV M42 has every chance of becoming a mainstay. Its mobility, speed, and firepower are ordinary. What make it extraordinary are the elevation and depression angles. With 15 degrees of gun depression, the tank can fire while hiding almost its entire hull behind the terrain. All in all, the STRV M42 is on a par with the best medium tanks at its tier. At Tier 6, players will face a challenge. They will have to rethink the tactics they are used to when playing the M42. The STRV 74 cannot boast good dynamics and armor. You could put up with this, if not for the size. It is too big for a medium tank. You hit, you penetrate. That's the kind of vehicle it is. As compensation for all these troubles, the tank received one of the most convenient guns in its tier. The gun features top-notch penetration capability and accuracy. It is convenient for firing at long range, and depression angle is also 15 degrees. This helps you hide this tall tank in terrain. In terms of gameplay, the STRV-74 resembles a tank destroyer. The next vehicle, Leo, will bring new challenges. It is the direct opposite of the STRV-74. Being comparatively small, it is a fast and maneuverable Tier 7 medium tank. The vehicle resembles a light tank, so even its thin armor doesn't look like a drawback. The gun causes mixed feelings. It has problems with accuracy, aiming, and stabilization. But the AP shell damage is great – 300 HP. Tier 8 is where medium tanks are replaced with the era of heavies in the Swedish tech tree. The top vehicles have similar character, so you can gradually refine your skill and reach perfection. In different periods, Swedish tank designers drew inspiration from different sources – first from the Germans, then from the Czechs. There was a period when they were keen on French ideas, like that of the oscillating turret, and this is apparent in the Tier 8, 9, and 10 tanks. Emil 1, the Tier 8 tank. It's like the AMX 5100. Both have a drum-type autoloader. From the French tank, the Emil 1 differs only in thick and well-sloped front armor. The armor is good enough to absorb damage from lower-tier vehicles and most tanks of the same tier – a forgotten feeling for fans of autoloaders. From its Swedish predecessors, Emil inherited a high depression angle – 12 degrees. This allows it to harass enemies from behind the top of a hill. The AMX is faster, both in how it moves and maneuvers, and in how it fires and reloads. The French tank has higher potential damage per drum, coupled with higher penetration capability. In general, the Emil 1 will deal less damage, but you'll feel safer in it. Due to its better armor, you can take your time firing all the shells in the drum and feel safer. At Tier 9 of the Swedish tank branch, you will find the Emil 2. When comparing it to the AMX 5120, you'll see a similar situation. The Scandinavian tank is ahead in terms of armor, elevation, and depression angles and size. It's a little smaller. The AMX has better armor penetration and dynamics. Meet the Tier 10 Kranwagen heavy tank. 
It has inherited all the strengths and weaknesses of the Emil vehicles. The tank features thin side armor and a tight layout, so its modules can be easily damaged. The gun's penetration capability is not very high. There must be something to compensate for drawbacks like this. The Kronwagen's key strength is a combination of a well-armored turret and superb gun depression angles. And this determines your playstyle. Hide your hull and empty the drum. Your armor is good enough to do this without too much haste. If necessary, you can always change position. The vehicle has sufficient mobility to do so. In general, Swedish tanks have several common traits. For example, most of them feature thin armor and small dimensions. But the key feature for the branch is the superb gun depression angles. If you like to make use of the terrain, this is probably the branch for you. That's all for now. Good luck on the battlefield.